want to update you on Puerto Rico as we are approaching almost three weeks since Hurricane Maria slammed into that U.S. territory. The island still gripping uh, with major problems, power outages, shortages of vital materials like just water supplies. Uh, but major folks outside of FEMA are stepping up to help. Uh, one of them is Bethany Frankel. We know Bethany is an entrepreneur, a TV star from the series Real Housewives of New York City, also founder of Be Strong. That's an initiative for women and families in crisis. And Bethany, it's great to have you on. We had Fat Joe on, who's a music producer and artist, also now an activist trying to help folks out in Puerto Rico. Uh, we know people with ties to Puerto Rico that have been trying to help the people there. What inspired you to charter planes and take uh, victims and also donate items to the people in Puerto Rico? It sort of just started as me saying I feel helpless and people around me saying you can't go there, you can't go there, you're crazy, there's no water, there's no electricity, and I'm like, why can't I go there? So I chartered the first plane and was going to fill it. And then I got in touch with a company called Global, a, a charity called Global Empowerment Mission and we do better org and they were able to load the plane so then I had people who could load the plane and then I met this woman Nicole from Dallas who was so connected in Puerto Rico and then we were able to unload the plane and then my friends and people I know that are wealthy started hearing what I was doing and they said what are you doing and I said okay do you want to sponsor a plane so now we're into about 30 planes that have gone in and wow. out but you really but if, even in a big plane an MD 11 you can get hundred and eighty thousand pounds on it so we've sent hundreds of thousands of pounds but now I am um, negotiating, it's not really a financial negotiation, I'm working out the terms with United Way to send 10 million pounds to Puerto Rico and the U.S. Wow. Virgin Islands, which would be worth, that would be worth like $20 million in relief. So we've so, done probably like $3 million already and 30 planes, but now moving into cargo and Carnival Cruise Lines and things like that. Bethany, what have you seen since you've been on the ground there? Uh, it's really terrible. It's just like feels it's like a third world country. It, I keep saying it's like slumdog millionaire, just utter poverty, utter poverty, desperation. Yesterday our truck showed up and people waited two and a half hours to get food. People are desperate. I've heard from children's hospitals that ha have no supplies. I mean, it's, it's scary. There are hundreds of deaths, by the way. That because I know because I have a Puerto Rican network now. I have an army that they all know the mayors of the towns and they are here this one knows that many people died mm -hmm. this one knows that many people died so the death toll is way higher than we're hearing it's just that we haven't had all those deaths confirmed but some people are dead and they can't even get them out and it's a horror show and the know, west side of the island is is bad we know that uh, because of the the deaths attributed exactly with this storm there are so many more because of folks that have uh, become uh, ill or died in hospitals because they don't have uh, the proper treatment or even diesel fuel to run the generators Bethany when do you go back um, I will probably go back to Puerto Rico and or the U.S. Virgin Islands when we get this cargo ship there because it's a mm -hmm. you know major, major undertaking, the logistics that I'm dealing with. It's much harder than all of my businesses I've ever run together. I have never, ever experienced something like this. This is crazy. And you meet such incredible people that help. But I am working with people that I have never met. Every person doing this is someone that I had never, ever met. Well, you and we're all on these different... You're chat room sorry and texting. you're connecting the dots and i love if anybody ever tells bethany frankel no you prove them wrong bethany thanks so much Truth. for your time thank